Hello Learning Birds. Today we are going to talk about filtering with Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft Excel is a program inside of Microsoft Office that is used for making a spreadsheet. So here is what a spreadsheet looks like. We've got um, the letters up top here and the numbers down here so you can always locate a piece of information based on a number and then a letter so we would call this A3 that would be the location of this box here C5 would be the location there and if you want to insert additional um, here we can say insert there we can insert some more information or we can insert pieces of information here as well kind of inserting and deleting extra columns or rows depending on what we need. All right, so that's the basics of, of kind of a spreadsheet. But a spreadsheet can give you a lot of, of concise information all inside of nice, neat rows and columns. And we can always find information pretty easily. So what we're going to do today is we are going to talk about a very helpful piece of information called a filter. So normally when you start off, you might have a title on the top. All right, so you have a title on the top like this one, name. And then you have other pieces of information below. This is just a list of random names. I can continue to scroll down of all these names. I put a list of, there we are, whoops, um, 93 different names. Um, most of them fictional, some of them just famous people. Um, lots of different names in there. I just made up a random list. So with this list, what I'm going to do first is called filtering. Under the data tab, you have filter. You also have it on the home tab. It's way over here at the very end. Um, it's past the actually the edge of what you can see. But there's the data ribbon and there's filter. You click on filter and it'll make every title line here have its own filter, which is a little down arrow here. And what we do with the filter is that we can use that information to take out just the pieces that we want. So I can filter for, I can select everything, and then they're all in there. I can select none of them, and they all disappear. And I can go through and pick just the ones I want. Let's say I wanted cartoon characters, so I'm going to pick like Bugs Bunny and, um, wow, I don't have a lot of, there were some more, maybe I'm not going to do cartoon characters, maybe I'll do other things, oh, there, well, that's not really a cartoon, but Kermit the Frog, and um, let's say I wanted Mr. Spock and Mickey Mouse, there's on there, Peter Pan, all right, so I just want those ones, so I can click on those those check marks in those boxes and then my list will only have those ones. Notice the blue number over here remains the same as what it was before. I know that I have something between 1 and 7 and that in, or 1 and 8 and that information hasn't disappeared. It's just that using a filter makes it so that I can't see it right now. All right, so I've got said I've got just this group that I wanted to, just the group I was looking for. We can clear the filter by clicking up there and then all the other names appear just in the order that they were before. I want to show you one more thing about filters and that's um, putting a custom filter. You can make filters of things that begin with, end with, contain, do not contain, or a custom filter. I'll show you what a custom filter looks like here real quick. Um, I want to make a custom filter for everything that is greater than H. That means all of the text in there that has alphabetically greater than H, boom, is going to be in there. So it got rid of, um, let's see, it has 1, 2, 3, and then it got rid of 4, 5. And then it has 6, 7, it got rid of 8. It has 9, 10, 11, 12, got rid of 13. So those ones in between had names that were less than H. All right? And that's basically what that did. It just filtered out everything that was greater than H. Or, yeah, it filtered out. And so I can only see things that are H or greater. Hermione Granger, um, Hellboy there starts with H. And the other ones are all alphabetically H or after. Harry Potter, there's another H. So we kept all the H's but and everything that was greater than H. So in other words, anything alphabetically greater than H.
So that's kind of how filters work. Um, just using filters, you can always clear the filters and go back to your default of what you had, which is really nice. But there is filters in a nutshell on our Excel spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a great day.